Hi, I'm Dale Isla Riggs. I own the Berry Patch of Stonewall Hill Farm in Steventown, New York. And I got a Sarah Farmer grant to look at using exclusion netting to control spotted wing drosophila in my commercial blueberry planting. What we did with the exclusion netting was in year one, we compared 80 gram exclusion netting to 60 gram exclusion netting to blueberries that were protected with just bird netting and to which we applied pesticides four times. We had 0.67% infestation in the excluded part. Um, we covered the plants from one side, the, the ground side of one planting to the ground side of the other planting using three sheets of exclusion netting. So, and we had one double doorway so that you could enter the, the planting uh, just through one defined entryway. In the second year, we compared 80 gram exclusion netting to bird netting because we found out in year one that 60 gram netting did not keep spotted wing drosophila out. So we got rid of that treatment. In the second year, um, we had 0.37% infestation while we also compared it to the bird netting to which we applied five pesticide applications and we had over 20% infestation even though we applied pesticides. It has proven to me that this exclusion netting really works very well. Even people that are spraying every four days are not getting 0% infestation in their berries and we're getting 0% to 1% infestation. So I must say this project has been more successful than I ever could have dreamed possible. We've had exclusion netting out on the blueberries for four years running now, and we've had less than 1% infestation across those four years. Um, we've learned how to adjust our support structure a little bit over time so that the spotted wing does not get in at all. And it has just been a fantastic project. I'm able to once again grow pesticide-free blueberries, and I've now extended it to my raspberry tunnel, so I'm able to grow pesticide-free raspberries as well. And what's even more exciting is I've given 25 talks over the last several years so that all sorts of other growers are learning how to use this technology. And it is uh, being put into use from Maine to Minnesota to Oregon. So it's just been a fantastic project that I've just been really happy to be involved in.